brothers, brothers and sisters, family, first and foremost, take a nice deep breath in with me. Breathe in deep into your stomach, not your lungs. Hold. And release. I have a very, something very specific that I want to talk about. Something very important. And brothers and sisters, this is biblical, okay? Now, right now, we as a nation family are fighting against not of the flesh and blood. Because I've seen a lot of weird things going on, okay? But of morals and principalities. AKA corruption. Okay, we have a corrupt system. Um, it needs to change. So, being that it's biblical, let me explain what I mean by morals and principalities. See, America was actually built on morals and principalities. However, it was also built on slavery, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. So, that's in the past my suggestion is to leave it in the past now in the book of revelations it states and i'm gonna say it for the third time brothers and sisters listen we are going up against a war against it says in the bible morals and principalities morals and principalities but not of the flesh and blood so when you break it down just know right now, okay, it is so important to keep your thoughts and your and be mindful of people because not people don't know the things that we happen to know. I know a lot of people, a lot of intelligent people watch my channel, as I've stated in the past. Be mindful of the people and when a lot of people are very unaware, and I always say awareness is key. So the best way to, the best thing to do, and the, and the best way to look at this is to explain it to people. Explain what we're really up against and why this is happening. Because it seems like, and I'm going to state this: we the people. It seems like we the people. And I'm going to tell you from past experience, and I'm going to go back into my childhood. My generation family, and there's no fingers being pointed back at me, not today, not tomorrow. Here's a little story about when I was a young child. So, I was put on an amphetamine, Adderall, okay? And this amphetamine screwed with my mind. The first day, I remember everything. I remember when I was two years old, as a matter of fact. So, the first thing I recall is that how did it make me feel the first day it was all okay it was a-okay everything was fine you know what i'm saying second day i come home and i stated to my mom i said i don't feel right something feels off but as a child i didn't know that i was being experimented on so <laughs> now i look back and it's like holy shit, dude if, if you don't know family if you don't know Look on if you take, um, if you take Adderall, okay, and or the other one's Ritalin. My suggestion is you take your kids off of it because that is a it's it's it all starts with meth. It is meth. It's a it says bath salt amphetamine or salt and not bath salt it says salt amphetamine facts, okay, so. We had probably been in the book of Revelations for a lot longer than we realized, but it's almost like we're getting towards the end of the book. But, but, on a positive side, when a book ends, a new book is created. Okay? So, remember what we're up against for the fourth time. We're up against m morals and principalities. You know... I just saw something being a church being shot up in Nigeria. I mean, things are, if you haven't noticed, things are way off. 
and I have ran into some very good people, but I have also ran into some, I'm going to call them out, they're freaking strange cookies, man. So it's almost like demon possession, I, and I know about demon possession, and I do believe it is entirely possible for a person to be possessed. So for example, when you have people with bipolar disorder, I'm not going to say that they are demon possessed, but when I have seen people, family, I have seen people turn from smiles, like smiling, all happy, and all of a sudden, in a split second, start crying. Now, why would this happen? I blame it on the methamphetamine. This kid was on, he was prior to, and this is in a rehab. Um, or not in a rehab, this was, him and I spoke outside after the rehab, and he told me, he explained to me, that they had him on Adderall, and it wasn't working, and that's the reason why he had gone to the rehab. Long story short, I'm gonna keep this brief. You have to remember what we are truly up against, morals and principalities. Keep your heart pure. Purify your heart and open up your love space. Like, be loving, believe, believe in a higher power. Because I'm telling you, there is a higher power. I have a personal connection with my higher power, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. My connection, I'm going to state, is probably different because I am being given information from God. I do believe in God, and I was not a firm believer in God, but if you go back to ancient scripture, it does say that we were built in the image of God, okay, so I'm just going to leave it at that, at God, so remember, brothers and sisters, one, I want to give my thanks and praises to everyone right now, and I want to say thank you for listening, um, I have had the devil the devil, okay, is more of a metaphor, but I have had, the devil wants the most important people, okay, that stand with God. And the devil has come at me at every, with, at every angle, at every angle, and still has not captured my soul. And let me tell you, that's the reason why, for example, these young artists are so talented. And I want to give a moment of silence for all the young artists that have passed on. Because it's not funny to me. <sighs> moment of silence. Anyhow, the devil has came at me from every direction. Every angle. But yet, I have kept my heart pure. My mind has been cleared because I quit drinking and I'm word is bond I'm keeping to the promise so with that said keep your intentions and keep your heart pure and if you want to know what a person is thinking look into their eyes and a person's eyes says so much about them you have no idea I can see tormented souls just by looking into their eyes. So don't be on edge, but be aware because awareness is key. And yesterday I was I went for a nice long drive, okay? And I looked into the eyes of so many good people. And even today I looked into the eyes. Everybody's it seems like I'm surrounded by I really truly believe that I'm surrounded by angels. Um if you want to know a person's intentions, and I hope I hope you've made it this far, watch this entire video, I'm almost finished. If you want to know a person's intentions, all you need to do is look through the eyes, because the eyes are the windows of the soul. So again, I want to give my thanks and praises to everybody. I want to give my thanks and praises to everybody, and I want to specifically give my thanks and praises to our veterans that have been being ignored 
and you know there, there's a lot of homeless veterans so it's like we send them to war and I know solutions on for post-traumatic stress disorder marijuana doesn't work for everybody if you look at my my past video you can see um, yeah I've dabbled with shrooms I'm not gonna deny it but it has worked for me in a positive way that I was able to quit drinking <laughs> yes I was able to quit drinking now that makes me think holy cow if I was able to quit drinking off of one dose of mushrooms anything's possible <laughs> with that said brothers and sisters I want to say I appreciate y'all very much peace be with you and also with you and I love you all very much feel my love and open your heart space because we're going we're moving forward into a new direction and that is the direction of love and sh thank you to my mentor they who are they the wicked are scared of love and you need to understand that the wicked are very scared of love why are they scared of love because when love prevails when and what love will prevail we just remember we're we're going the rosetta is turning the, the timelines are turning okay so you need to understand we are going into a either it's up to us family a golden age or a dark age a golden age or a dark age we're past the dark ages so it's time to step up look forward into the future and quit playing the blame game step up and make yourself make healthy choices make yourself healthy choices eat healthy foods and you will be okay with that said my family i love you feel my love because i really do love you we're going to we're going to make this better we're going to make everything better i i promise you things will get better but you need to listen closely and carefully and have pure a heart full of pure intent i love you family you have a great day stay blessed